hit a bump, this would just curl up. Right. Right? Because you can see how... Okay, today I'm going to show you how to convert this 17P John Deere tractor dump trailer into a linear actuated dump trailer. No more lifting, no more slugging. Makes all the work lots of fun. Reuse this tongue from the uh, the other from what was originally on it, and. Now I'm going to finish up and figure out how I'm going to attach this linear actuator in here. Uh, here are my brackets. Okay, they're going to go in like so. Magnets are always helpful too, so I use them. There we go, there's one. And here's my brackets, they're already cut. Just put them in place. And then I'm gonna weld them out. And then I'm gonna drill a hole somewhere in around here. Goes right through, and then a linear actuator Head will be right in there and then I'm gonna attach the other end somewhere over here so you get a good idea of what it looks like okay linear actuator head there motor and the rest of the assembly down here all right all right now I got my linear actuator all tacked in and after many attempts of you know finagling it a little bit get everything exactly where I want it here goes the test. <clears throat> Perfect. Now I'll just do a nice little close up here so you can see exactly how I've attached this. Right in there. Okay. There's the plate, and there, and then I've attached it down here, like so, <clears throat> and that's it. Now, as you notice, I don't have my support in here. So now I'm going to have to build something so that when you fill the, the dump trailer up, then it doesn't just push down on this empty space. It actually has something to rest on. So be right back.
Okay, so now I'm just doing some finishing touches. This wire here, I've coated, just put some of this, uh, I don't even know what you call this stuff, but just to protect the wire. <clears throat> and then I've got a couple of grommets that I'm going to place here and then somewhere around here with a little bit of it hanging off here uh, just to tidy it up so it's not hanging down. And then uh, I'm going to get some uh, shrink tube, put it over here to kind of seal things up. And, and right here as well, just to kind of protect that. And that's it. All right. So now I'm going to use these tap guns. I don't know if you can see that right there, but they are a tap con, but uh, I always uh, draw, drill a pilot hole because it doesn't always go. So something that's just a little bit smaller than <clears throat> than the the, the the screw itself. All right, so I'm going to drill some holes. I'm going to use these tap cons. The drill bits it's just slightly smaller and I'll see if I can get a close-up here of how that much smaller you really need to go it's maybe just like that see you can see the threads on either side that's perfect now I forgot to say that these grommets they are a I don't know if you can see that Let's see if I can get it to focus it's, uh, it's hard to see, but it's they're a five eighths uh, grommet. So whenever you pick out a grommet for stuff like this, make sure it's big enough that it'll just hold it tight like that and not pinch the wire inside. All right, so let me try to screw this in. Okay, so I've got my shrink tube ready to go on. All right. And also down here, I put some shrink tube on and as well. I took this off as well, just using the screwdriver you use for your uh, glasses. There's just a little tab on here in case you don't know how to take that off. But there is a little tab that you push on the side of it. I can just barely make it out there, but just push on that and it'll slip right off. Okay, now I've got my shrink tube on, and then I've just put a little bit of uh, electrical tape here, just because this is, has to be so big that it's hard to transition it down to this protective coating. My grommets are on, and <clears throat> I had to put this thing back on here. Remember, take that off before you try to slip everything on. Anyway, uh, here we go. I'm going to just blast that in. my dump cart completed and before I go to hit the lift button I gotta take this pin out oh, there we go and set that down here okay and here we go Gives a little extra lift there at the end. Uh, so here is the reinforced uh, bracket that I have made. I had it bent at a shop here. Uh, and then here's my gussets there for how it's attached to the linear actuator. And then I had to chop and modify this. And I used a small angle iron so that uh, when it's resting it doesn't push up in because that's quite a wide span so I wanted it to be 
strong. And here's it now finished off. And let's just watch her. Oh, hey, Bentley. And here we go. That's it.